Hi again. Another in the series of kit reviews. And uh, today what I want to talk about is um, the maintenance of edged weapons. Now, um, the first part of this will be on uh, keeping them sharp. And as Lofty always said, you're only as sharp as your knife. And uh, in fact, uh, a blunt knife is quite dangerous because you end up sawing and hacking through stuff and that's how accidents happen. So whatever the knife, whether it's a kitchen knife, a utility knife, a tactical knife, uh, if you keep it sharp, then it'll do the job it's designed for. And if you know it's sharp, then you'll be careful with it. Uh, just a, a quick aside, uh, when we're talking about safety and the subject, um, when you're sharpening or cleaning knives, remember, beware of the edge, okay? Your hands might be slippy with oils and stuff, and um, it's very, very easy to cut yourself. Okay, so the, the first thing um, we're going to talk about is uh, the sharpening. And it used to be a big skill, sharpening a knife. And um, until Spyderco came out with a device called a sharp maker. It was actually the first edge weapon related um, product. Uh, and, and they kind of researched it for a long time. And uh, they came out with a, a device to sharpen uh, knives that were becoming a little bit popular, particularly in the kitchen and, and the uh, utility field, which was serrated, serrated blades. And uh, Sal Glasser studied the geometry of the blades and came up with the sharp maker. And uh, this is it. Uh, Spider Joyce at Spyderco very kindly sent me one. It's a very neat package. Um, every, everything is, is contained in this box. So you have these two ceramic sharpening rods and these two ceramic sharpening rods and these are the first that you you use they're the, the more coarse type to use so what you do is you, you take them out and you place them in the slot here each side now there's two uh, different angles this side you have uh, 15 degrees each side 30 degrees or 20 degrees each side 40 degrees just depending on what type you're doing now this base has holes and it can be screwed to a work surface if, if you have that available now the other thing that you must do is insert these brass safety guide rods okay and then what you do, you take you take your knife. You don't do it like this in the hand. You hold it down, but basically you just cut downwards and with a, a drawing action, and then the um, the correct angles for the knife would would, would be made. So uh, very very important use use the the guards. Okay, so it makes sharpening the knife a very very simple task. Then we go on to cleaning maintenance. Uh, and all the stuff I know about cleaning knives came from uh, cleaning pistols. Uh, I, I kept my cleaning kits and uh, the materials and I just started cleaning knives the same way as I cleaned pistols. Um, so, some knives uh, are more vulnerable than others. Just just a thing, if, if you're cleaning uh, kitchen knives or food preparation knives, just be very, very careful because some of the cleaning materials are toxic. So make sure they're all completely removed. They also would give you quite a nasty taste on your food. So that is a, a, a big thing. But for utility slash tactical use, um, that's not such a problem. And there's a couple of areas where uh, of concern. If you're operating in a desert or sandy environment, sand gets everywhere. Uh, on a fixed blade knife, it, it can get on the blade and between the blade and the sheath and it becomes an abrasive. Um, but the biggest one is for folders. So if you have um, any kind of folding knife, uh, Swiss Army, 
as you can see there's joints and pivots lots of places where dirt can get into similarly with this original leatherman same thing places for dirt, dirt to get it, it's articulated so they're joints that need to be lubed and similarly with, with um, a folder this um, this is my first folder, first Spydeco, which is the Mariner. I've had it for a very long time. Still, still does the job. I have it in the house for any routine tasks. Folders are very, very good for this kind of because you can hold material with one hand and open the knife, do your cutting, put the knife away, clip it on. Jobs are good. Un. So, particularly for folders, and the cleaning um, routine is in three phases, which again comes from the firearms. And the first first phase is what we used to call to degunk. So get rid of any buildup of grease, fluff, um, sand, sweat, anything that's clogging up the um, the insides of the the folder. And we do this by using a solvent. Now, for for shooters, the solvent used to be this one, Hoppy's number nine. It it it's um, Really good. Any any uh, firearms maintenance bay or armory, you can smell the hoppies. Uh, but you can just buy uh, white spirit, and that will do the job. Well vent ventilated room. Get a, a metal tray, uh, and and you soak the weapon uh, to get rid of it, any of the gunk. You can even leave it overnight. It's uh, what I used to do with pistols quite often. You know, strip it, frame barrel etc leave it in the solvent overnight gets rid of all the stuff so that's the first thing then clean everything off so you've soaked it then clean all the solvents and all the rubbish out as well and to do this uh, you can use various things toothbrush toothpicks uh, specialized cleaning uh, rod, uh, brushes this kind of thing, thoroughly get in everywhere, get rid, uh, and then use paper towels, completely dry the uh, metal, okay? Then you, you lube it, you use lubricant. And the lubricant that I preferred for shooting was uh, from Sentry Solutions. And... This is the big bottle, Tough Glide. It's brilliant. It, it bonds microscopically to the metal and um, it, it stays on. With firearms, even with the, the heat of shooting, it doesn't burn off. It, it's been uh, adopted by the military in, in the United States and so on. And they also do it as a cloth. And uh, it's just a cloth impregnated with the stuff. And it's really good for wiping down things. So even if you're not doing a thorough cleaning, you just wipe the surfaces of the, um, the tool or the item. So that's basically um, the routine. The other thing is um, Sentry Solutions have this really nice knife maintenance kit which was given to me as a present uh, in the United States. Uh, it's got a little sharpener in there. Uh, it's not as easy to use as the um, sharp maker from Spyderco, but it, it still works. Small um, Q-tip type things, uh, lubricants in a needle dispenser and some of the tough cloth. It's really handy. And if, if you're doing a long day of training, or out in the field or camping or whatever, you can have that in, in your pocket. So that's just a few thoughts on um, knives and keeping them uh, clean and keeping them sharp. And uh, hope you enjoyed it.